My name is Floyd Smith. I've been making uh, surfboards since 1955 and uh, started off just, just as a kid with rough uh, balsa wood and uh, made a fair amount of wood boards to about 1960 and then the foam uh, became available. We switched to foam. That's the main thing that they're made out of now. They have a foam core with a fiberglass shell. I'm back to making wood surfboards, mainly using redwood and balsa wood. All our roots on surfing and everything, and especially the old stuff, uh, go back to Hawaii. And uh, it's pretty natural, you know, they've got uh, nice gentle waves. They have big monstrous waves and uh, they uh, have the nice warm water and the great weather, you know, so it was pretty natural for them to, to surf. And what they needed most was uh, equipment. And then uh, they had what they call the plank surfboards, and that's all they rode for a long time, about 100 years. And then finally in 1938, they started making them sleeker and uh, more of this shape here. And it allowed them to surf bigger waves, surf uh, steeper waves, and the only drawback was that they were pretty heavy. So in uh, 19... Late 1940s, they started using balsa wood, and they did, would have used it earlier, but they couldn't seal it, they couldn't coat it. But then they finally got the fiberglass going, and with fiberglass and balsa wood, that that set the whole thing up, and that started the Gidget era and all the, all the real fun fun times. Then we went from the about mid 50s, late late 50s. We switched over to the foam surfboard, which is what they're made out of t today. And now they're going to a, a styrofoam board, which you kind of see in some of the supermarkets, some of the stores like Costco and such. And they're real good. They're, they're, they're pretty inexpensive. They're real fun to surf because they're soft and they won't beat you up as badly when you're learning. And uh, I, I'd, I'd highly recommend if you're going to learn to surf to uh, to uh, get one of those styrofoam boards and find out whether you like the sport or not. On these wood boards, we're trying to capture the classic wood board of the, of the 50s. And uh, we usually start off with redwood and balsa wood, but uh, it's very, very hard to find good light redwood and uh, balsa's gotten very, very expensive. So this is what this board is made up of. It's redwood and balsa wood. And it has a fiberglass covering over it to, uh, to protect it. And this board should look just the same uh, 50 years from now as, 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 as it does now. And uh, mainly just going for the craftsmanship and the looks. And the, the ones, the boards that I sell to are guys that were real in the, in the surfing and it uh, just kind of reminds him of the heyday of, of, of surfing. And the hard part is turning this into that. <laughs> and what I do is I take a power plane and we uh, shape everything down and uh, get, it, get it to the specifications that we want and then we'll take it and fiberglass it, and sand it, finish coat it, polish it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's neat. I really enjoy it. I've done it for a long time. And uh, the customers that I serve uh, really uh, like it and enjoy it. And it's, it's a big thing for them, too. It's a real specialized thing. Uh, probably only about eight or ten of us that are still making wood boards uh, now. And they're calling me up wanting wood. And I finally got my hands on some wood, but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not selling it. <laughs>